Hey everybody, and welcome back to another part of, uh, let's stream... Grand Ages of Rome. Forgot the name of the game I was playing. Thank you everybody on YouTube who decided to keep watching after the first episode. And, uh, this is one of my cats, Millie. You'll see a lot of subscribers in the chat using the Millie emoticon. Let's go on to the next stage, so let's see what we've got, what we're, uh, what we're working with here. It is time to give a start to your political career. The colony of Cordoba was hit by a massive earthquake. The town was almost completely decimated, and the local magistrate is amongst the casualties. I have made arrangements for you to replace him as pro-magistrate. Do well, and you will gain the favor of the Senate. Since you will be in a position of power, you could take the opportunity to increase our family estates. I hear that some of the finest timber comes from Cordoba. I used to live in Burlington as well, um, Dave. I used to, I lived there for about four or five years before I, oh no, I lived there for six years, I think. I lived there for six years, then I moved to Hamilton and lived there for six years, and now I'm in Toronto. Against my will. Right, let's do this mission. This looks really easy, actually. Um, the main things we had to do, build two <laughs> houses of the middle class people. Uh, which is very easy, and uh, and achieve 20 goods, which is also very, very easy. Um, in fact, we could really hardcore beeline that and do that in like five minutes if we wanted to. The other achievement, 40 ac extra wood for sawmills unlock, which is easy. And uh, build a gold mine, a gold mine for score. Uh, score is not the greatest thing in the world, but the gold mine isn't far away from the starting location, and we could do that easily. So this one's probably going to be a quick one. I don't miss Burlington. I was happy when I moved to Hamilton. I didn't like Burlington. Oh god, the snobs. I don't know how old you are, Dave, but I went to um, the high school that I went to. Just, even when I lived in Hamilton, I kept going to the same high school in Burlington. Uh, I went to... Um, why am I forgetting the name of the high school I went to? Robert Bateman. Oh, there we go. We actually start with the first row of upgrades. See, I didn't know exactly how that would work. That first row of upgrades, starting with that, it saves us a little bit of money, definitely saves us some time. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, um, so as we can see here, if we zoom out, the gold mines are down there. I think I'm actually going to move my map around a little bit. Looks like we have no ground-based trade routes here. Yeah, we have no ground-based trade routes on this map. Once again, in fact, we have no trade at all. So, we have very few- religion is basically our only source of money, then. So what I'm gonna do here is two houses there, one for a logging shed, of course, and then the second one is for the brickworks, which we got some natural water right over here. Sweet. Whenever that's done. You went there too? Wow, that's weird. I'm 22 though, so I only got out of high school like four years ago or something. I did an extra semester of uh, grade, the unofficial, well, the now unofficial grade, um, grade 13. There we go. Has to be near a natural water base, and it considers near to be very close, not just within the radius. You said tomorrow. What did I say tomorrow about? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to the my own words coming out of my own mouth. Shit happens. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a slave market down here already. I really should be getting this slave market early. Um, good placing of it would be right here. You know what? Uh, you know what? Yeah, that's a good spot. That's a good spot. I can I can get a lot of production done there. Go ahead and uh, this marble here. That's stone. Okay, good. The stone is more useful to us anyway. So we're gonna get a stone quarry up there, so we have stone ahead of time for our forum. And lastly, of this little bit of population I want up here, we want a library. Or, sorry, a school. Library is purely for research, I believe. Gives you a lot of it. Whereas a school gives you... Um, oh, we have efficiency. Nice. A school um, 
has research based on the population rather than what I believe might just be a lump sum. Could be wrong, though. Alright, slave market is done, so let's go ahead and get on the food stuff. So if this is near an aqueduct well, you get more. Uh, but we have an aqueduct up here we could put down here, but it would be a huge pain in the ass and honestly not worth it. Then we want a pig farm. Pig farms, I believe, get their bonus just for being near the, the fertile field. You can't build any kind of farm on a spot that doesn't have these fertile fields. That includes pig farms. Okay, so what we can use this stuff for, we can get olive farms, we can get um, grape farms, and we can also, I believe it's under commerce, no, it's under production, isn't it? We can also get um, flax farms, which is for producing linen, which is for the highest class of people. By Fortuna's choice, I have met a trustworthy ally in my travels in Asia. He is the nephew of my dear friend, Gaius Marius, and has been in exile since Sula took power. Now he is planning his return home. His name is Gaius Julius Caesar, and I trust you will treat him as a friend. People are fan are fangirling over Kimo in the chat. Wow. See, that's what happens when you... <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know, for anyone who's new, maybe you're a new person watching this stream, I don't know, or watching this on YouTube, perhaps. Um, Kimo is a huge member of the Madurai Bread Forum, link in the description. The Hitbox stream, link in the description. The YouTube channel, you're probably watching it. Um, just massive vocal person in the, um, in the community. It has gotten to the point now where Kimo in the last... Kimo, how long have you been watching? Four months? Six months? Something like that? I think you're fairly new considering, uh, how much of a part of the community you are. Uh, Kimo talks so often on everything related to the show that basically any, any one of the hardcores who know the show knows Kimo. Kemo is considered the legend of the chat room, essentially. Which I think is pretty cool, because I feel like anyone who's part of any fan base, that is a cool moment for them. Being known just for being an omnipresent fan. That's pretty fucking cool. You've been watching for over a year now? Has it been that long? Honestly, time flies. Archive's done, so we have extra research points. We're going to use that. Yeah, full tree logging. Um, so our slave market there is actually going to cover this extra lumber camp, so we can get a lot done if we efficiently use this. Um, brickworks can be used by slaves, so we're also going to get a brickworks down there, worked by the slaves. And these are already upgraded to level 2 because of that family perk we got, so that's awesome. So will this logging camp. So we have tons of food, or sorry, wood, food, and bricks. Uh, despite only having four houses, we have a very productive little colony going. We also have a decent amount of wood. So let's get our form already. Right in the middle of town here. We're going to get our form going up. We'll pay for a builder's camp to get that going faster. And we need excess wood, which is very easy for us, and we also need a gold mine. So we're going to take a hit to our popularity. Popularity up here is a mechanic we barely use. Uh, but basically, you can use authority to buy things out. Authority just goes up naturally over time. You can use authority and money to buy things out, and sometimes they you take a pop, uh, popularity hit for them. There's certain things that make your popularity go down. It doesn't happen often. I find it happens more in military maps than anything. But we're going to take a small popularity hit here for drafting a squad. I'm going to draft a squad of troops. Take 45 seconds. And I'm going to have them move over here because then we can have an outpost over here so we can build a colony over here without having to leapfrog units over. Leapfrogging units over is really annoying. But a slave market over here would be incredibly useful. Um... There's nothing we can... Hmm. You know what? If we were to put a slave market right here, that would be amazing. So an outpost here and a slave market here. That'd work. I find it funny how you remember the month skimmo. I don't keep track of time that well. 
All right, so we expand the population a little bit because I want to increase increase the uh, quality of food we have. So what we're going to do is three homes here. And we're going to use these for a water mill for grinding it up. And uh, I want a road. This will be our road. On which we need a butcher shop. And we need a bakery. And remember, if they're attached to a road, it means that they are worth more. March them over there. If they're attached to a road, they'll produce more goods. That is how the end-of-line production buildings work. Let me just uh, control group that to the one key. A few days ago, I happened to find a video about Haven and Hearth, and now I'm here. Hello, everybody. Hey, wizard. Wizard... Zzzz... Wizard ZZ? Holy shit, did I get that right? You've got a difficult one. If I got that right, you've got to give me props. It's the rule that I just instituted now. Okay, so uh, we're going under basic buildings here, and I want to get an outpost here. Um, the consumption actually isn't much for an outpost. It's fairly standard. Full tree logging done. Let's go for felling axes then for the final upgrade for those. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you need a lot to build this, but the actual uh, the actual consumption of it is very small. So he's just making sure you don't run out by building one. It's kind of a safety thing more than anything. Okay, we're going to disband that group now because we don't need it. There's no military on this stage. We just needed it to build the outpost. And we're going to use that to build our second slave market in this strategic spot of right here works. Because I wanted to be able to cover the gold mine and the marble deposit. We're likely not going to end up using the marble deposit, uh, but the gold mine will be nice. The gold gets minted directly into Denari, so it's just straight money. Which is good because we have no trade on this map, so we need that kind of income. The other income will be through religious buildings and tithe, however that is not very much. Especially when you have a small population like these early on colonies. So we're going to go ahead and get a gold mine there. Boom, it's already upgraded because we have abilities towards that. We've completed that objective now. And we're producing a production of 200 denarii through that. So we are making a profit there. As you can see by our denarii actually going up at a pretty steady rate. So we don't need to rely on donations so much anymore. Might as well get a marble mine just because we can. Uh, we're running a little bit lower on wood now, but we can afford some upgrades if we'd like to to produce more without having to build extras. However, we do still have a slave market over here that could be more productive. Um, hmm. So I'm actually going to put one right This counts as dense force. You know what? That's within range. That's fine. I'll put one there. Uh, sorry, I don't know uh, what Luda Fisk is. Also, just call me MDB. Life-giving water connector with gods. Um, we can get some farms going over here now. Let's get some extra food going. Just because we've got uh, we've got slave workers over there, we might as well uh, use it to get some more food for the population. Again, for anyone just tuning in now. We are working with the family that is um, based a lot in heavy production and having an efficient workforce as well as having a lot of upgrades, upgrades towards slavery. It's a really unique playstyle that not many people do, so I thought I'd give it a big try, and I love it. It's very fun. It's a very fun playstyle. Normally I go with the family that's all about making money. I made more food. Uh, all right, let's check back on our objectives here. So, uh, if we end this with an with an extra forty wood, that's the other bonus objective. So we can actually get on doing the other things. We already have enough goods. Wow, this is easy. Uh, we can win this almost immediately. I'm just gonna buy that upgrade. Buy that upgrade. We have way more than enough wood now. And these houses take stone. They don't have any wood cost for consumption. They do have a little bit of goods cost though. So what I'm going to do here is go 
farmer's market. And we're actually going to build an extra house here so that we can have an olive farm. Yeah, that might be too far. This will work. Uh, plebes have to work the olive farm. Speed up the building. And I just want to make sure I don't fall under that goods. Actually, it doesn't matter if I fall under that goods thing because I can actually catch up on that later. So it doesn't matter. Don't know what I was thinking there. And we'll, we might as well get some entertainment there just for another job for the people there. So we're about to win this one. This was a very quick, easy mission. Bankruptcy warning. Ten minutes and we lose. If we don't get in the positive money, doesn't matter. We're about to win. We win. And we ended with enough wood. We failed. We didn't end with enough wood. What does that unlock? Oh no, we completed with enough wood. That was weird. That must have been a glitch or something. Mm. Uh, we didn't unlock the new lumber camp, I don't think. We just have this old one. And it's still playing sound effects from the previous map as if it were still open. Do you hear that? I've never encountered a glitch in this game. Still playing the music as if we were in that map. I think we glitched it. <laughs> I think we glitched it, guys. Yee. Well, we didn't get the extra thing, but we totally completed the objective, so I'm not counting that as a loss. We completed that objective, it just kind of glitched. I don't know what that was all about. <clears throat> See ya, Cody. Yeah, that was weird. Uh, I really don't know what that was all about. Um, the thing we lost, the, the estate we lost out on, though, I wasn't going to get anyway. I never ended up getting the wood ones. In fact, I don't think I want to buy any of these. I might get the stone and marble one at some point, maybe. Uh, I guess the stone isn't that bad. It's it's useful. Uh, it's not that urgent, though. I'd rather save up my money. Alright, so we can get Roman efficiency with just a straight income of 200 denarii, which I think we should really get. Other one is slave master. Uh, 200 denarii income when you have more than 30 slaves. I don't. I think that's only slaves that aren't used though, which would mean you'd have to be importing slaves, which would cost you more money than you're probably spending. That's probably slave master is probably just an ability to get you some rebate on the slaves. So I'm gonna take Roman efficiency and get the straight up money bonus early, uh, because it's more often that we're gonna straight up need the money than we're gonna need the workforce. We can get the workforce stuff later. Yay! Um, I'm not going to take a break between those two missions because those were so short. Uh, let's take another one. Salve. Mithridates VI of Pontus has invaded our territories in Asia. The Senate has agreed to extend my consulship in order to deal with this threat. I have fought and defeated that snake Mithridates several times under Sulla. This time, I intend to crush him and turn his little kingdom into ash. With Pompey gone to fight Sertorius in Hispania, I need every available man at my side. Go to Turaco and muster additional soldiers for the campaign. Once you are ready, sail to Patara and join with our forces there. So this is a military one. Um, uh, build squads, have squads, build houses, um, average religious satisfaction. Okay, I'll do this one. Uh, I haven't shown off military yet, so this will be fun. So we just need to have high enough quality squads to win. So we can just do the other objectives first. All right, so we're gonna need houses that are of a higher quality than plebes for this one, because plebes do not give you soldiers. You can't recruit plebes. You need actual trained soldiers. Okay, um, so that's a milestone. As you capture milestones, that looks like a barbarian village gotta be careful of them. Milestones give you land trade routes. So we do have trade on this one. So the first thing I want to do is immediately we're getting a slave market right here. 
before we even get a single person. We're getting a slave market. And a stone quarry. 